Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you Steam Workshop Downloader Tutorial for Beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out Larry Selfridges on this video. So let's get started. So if you're looking for a way to for you to start using Steam Workshop Downloader, well, there are a few things that you need to do here. So first things first is you want to open up any browser here, go to google.com and search for the following, which is going to be SCMD Workshop Downloader. Now you want to look for the GitHub link here, so specifically for this one, let's go and open it up. Now what we need to do here is you want to go to the right side here and you want to look for releases and you want to click on the current updated release. Now what we need to do next is we want to download the file. So get, go ahead and click on the zip file that you see here and it should start the download process. Now once the file has been downloaded, we need to do a few things. So once the file has been downloaded, let's go ahead and click on the folder itself. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we want to go and extract the zip file here. So you may want to create a new folder in your desktop here for easy access. Let's go ahead and click on new and let's go and choose folder. Now, from here, you could go and name this at whatever you want. But for now, let's go and open it up. Let's go ahead and double click on the zip file here. And you want to go ahead and transfer the folder you see here inside the new folder that we just recently created. Now, once we've done that, what we need to do is you want to open up the folder. And from here, you want to go ahead and open up the .exe file here. So in this case, this is going to be the SCMD workshop downloader to here.exe. Let's go open it up and it should see, I'll give you the option to uh, basically run this app here. But just in case, if you get this pop up here, go and click on more, more info, click on run anyway, so that you should be able to see it. So let's just wait for it. And from here, this is what's going to look like. But what we need to do next here is we need to download another uh, specific number of files here. So in this case, you want to look for Steam CMD here, open up the link that you see here, and you want to go and scroll down a bit until you see a section or download link here. So it's going to be download Steam CMD for Windows. So go ahead and click on it. And it's going to start downloading that folder. So just, you need to go ahead and open up the folder again. So from here, we need to extract this again. So let's go ahead and close this one. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the other folder here. Let's go ahead and cl close this one, double click on this one. And from here, you may want to create a new folder just for organization. Let's go and create a new folder, new folder, side new folder. Let's go and extract uh, the uh, previous file. Let's go and go back to downloads. In this case, Steam CMD. And you want to go and transfer that in here. So yeah, by the way, let's go and uh, see, revert that. We could go and transfer it in new folder instead. Let's go and transfer it up. And it's going to close the previous folder here. So again, you want to go ahead and open up the uh, C, uh, SCMD Workshop Downloader here. You want to go ahead and click on the folder here for Steam CMD. Click on that folder. And you want to locate where you've actually added your .exe for Steam CMD. So either in this case, in this location here, or in the other location that we just added it. But in this case, just like that, click on open. It should now be added into here. Now, what we need to do next is we just need to add a bunch of details here. Like, for example, the workshop links here. So you need to open up the actual workshop. And from here, you want to access whichever asset that you want to download. Like, for example, this one or other work uh, uh, links here. And from here, what we need to do is you want to go to the top here. You should see your URL. You can go and click on it to copy it. So you could go and go back into your CM or CMD workshop downloader. And just paste it and you can go and just download that specific uh, file. Now, by the way, if you want to download multiple files here, you could go ahead and click on the option here for mode. You could choose like multiple games and collections. And you also have other op options to do here, like generate Steam CMD script, uh, generate C uh, CMD script here, both a single uh, game and both. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So this one is pretty simple. Just follow the steps and you should be good. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.